Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a warm welcome once again on SLTV Lab. My name is Mr. Shadrach Habubri. Today we are going to see the video about blood groups. We have been wondering how do people detect blood groups. Today we are going to find out how to do it. And please, if you like the video, share it to your colleagues and let them know also about how to know blood groups. In order to know the blood group, you need these reagents. This is antibody anti-A, which means it is against antigen A. Good. This is the antibody anti-B. This is the antibody anti-AB. This is the antibody anti-D. You know, D is an antigen found in the blood group with resource positive. Now, we are labeling the slides. Here it is A, B, A, B, and D. This will be corresponding to the antigen. Here we have a blood sample. We are going to use the same blood on every part which is the label. Then we'll be mixing every part with its corresponding antibody. Let's start with the antibody anti-A. If this person has blood group A, there will be agglutination at A. But remember, AB also contain A. There will also agglutination at AB. Good, let's see. Good. Next is B. If there will be agglutination at B, because this is the antibody anti B, there will be that person will have group B. But remember, also AB contain B. If there is also agglutination at AB, but not at A, only at A, B, and B, that person blood group will be B. Good. We are mixing antigen and A, B with, I mean, we are mixing the antibody anti A, B with A, B. Here it is the antibody and D. We are going to mix it with D. If there will be a gradation with D, it is an indicator that this person has resource positive. Good. Now let's mix. Remember, we are going to mix, but we are going to use different tools. You can't take a tool used to mix at A and then use it again at B. So you will be mixing the antibodies. Good. Oh, it has started working. You can see at A there is no change, but at B there is something going on. That person might have blood group B. Good. Also you can see at A, B there is a change as well. Let's see at D. Wow. Even at D there is change. So let's see clear. You see, at A, there is no change. But at B, it's obvious that there is change. Also, at A, B, there is change. And at D, here you can understand now, this person has the antigen B and D. This means that this person, blood group, is B. It is B. Good. So we are going to use another sample to find out if we can get other results. Good. You can see clearly there is a glutination at B, A, B, and D. This person is group B resource positive. Good. Now this is the result blood. Blood group is B resource positive. Good. So let's try another.
here is the result of another blood sample we have taken. You can see clearly there is a big change at A, that is agglutination, and little change at A, B, and at D. But there is no change at B, no change at all. This is an indicator that someone has blood group A resus positive. What if someone has blood group O? There will be no agglutination at A, at B, and at AB. If it is positive, there will be agglutination at D. But if someone has blood group O negative resus or resus negative, there will be no agglutination at A, AB, and no agglutination at D as well. Now you can see clearly. This is how things are done. Now you know that people have a different blood group and how it is done. Good, thank you. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope it's very helpful. So please, don't keep this information just with yourself. Share this information to your colleagues and see you in another video next time. May God bless you abundantly.